All right, problem number four. The first thing we want to do is work with our domain. So we want to factor everything that can be factored in the bottom. This can be broken down because it's difference of perfect squares. So when you break it down, it's going to be A is X and B is 4. So it's A plus B, A minus B. And so we set our denominator, our domain, I mean, our domain, we're going to set each one of those components not equal to zero and solve. Make sure at least x minus 4, x plus 4, x minus 4 was already represented. So now just solve each one of these. So x cannot equal 4, and we also know that x cannot equal negative 4. Alright, the next thing we want to know is we have a common denominator which we're going to use x plus 4 x minus 4 so what we want to do is we want to multiply everything all the terms in the top by our common denominator after that we want to simplify term for term so this first term this cancels with this and I'm left with x plus 4 times 1 which is just going to be x plus 4 equals in this next term this is factored so x plus 4 cancels with that this cancels with that so I'm left with just 8 then I'm gonna subtract 4 from both sides and my only solution is x equals 4 however when I come back and look at my domain it tells me x cannot equal 4 therefore my answer is no solution Okay, number five, we have a denominator of an A, so we first of all do our domain, and we say A cannot equal zero. That's the only one that we have to worry about, so next we find a common denominator, which is going to be A, so it means if I multiply every term in this problem by A, and simplify, uh, nothing simplifies in the first one, so I get 1 times a is a. In the second term, these cancel, and I get minus 4 equals 5a. Now I want to get a by itself, so I'm going to subtract a from both sides and have negative 4 equals 4a. Keep solving, and negative 1 is equal to a. Okay, I double check and make sure that's not... Um, an issue with my domain and it's not so therefore that's just my solution number six first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with our domain we're going to set our domain just means x cannot equal zero it's the only one and we have a common denominator of x so we want to multiply every term in our problem by x even this one, this is the one most people forget. Um, and then now we want to simplify this x, cancels this x, so I have x squared plus 5 left. Nothing simplifies in the middle term, so I just have negative 1 times x is just negative x. And this x cancels this x, so I have 5x plus 5 when I distribute that. Now I just want to move everything to the left so I can get 0 on my right. So I'm going to subtract 5x. And then I'm also going to subtract 5. Which is going to give me a 0. I'm going to add like terms over here. x squared. Those go away. And I have minus 6x. Now, when I have a 0 over here, I want to see if I can solve this. If this factors out and at least... Um, a greatest common factor comes out. They both have an x in them. So when I factor an x out of both of them, I have left this. So I set this equal to zero and solve. And then I set x minus six equal to zero and solve. So my two solutions are x equals zero and x equals 6, but my denominator, oh, my domain tells me that x cannot equal 0, so that means I can't include that answer. My only solution included is a 6. 
Alright, number seven, let's work with our domain first. Okay, when we work with our domain, we want to factor anything that can be factored. So I'm going to take a 3x out of this and have x plus 1 left. Alright, so I'm going to take my first domain, my first denominator, 2x, and set it not equal to 0 and solve. So x cannot equal 0. I'm going to take this next one, x plus 1, and set it not equal to 0 and solve. x cannot equal neg negative 1. I'm going to take this 3x, set it not equal to 0 and solve. And then this x plus 1, since it's exactly the same as this one, I don't have to do it. It'll be a repeat. So basically, and these two are the same. So it can't equal negative 1 or it can't equal 0. Alright, my common denominator is going to be a 2x, a 3x, um, and an x plus 1. Okay, a common denominator. So if I write my common denominator above each term, Okay, and then I'm going to start simplifying. This cancels with this, and I'm going to have this times 1. So I have 3x times x plus 1 times 1. It just stays there. Alright, now this is going to cancel with this. So I'm going to have 2x times 3x times a negative 1. So negative 1 times 2x times 3x. And then equals this, cancels this, and this, cancels this. So I have um, 2x times 1, which is just 2x times 1 is just 2x. Let's distribute over here. 3x squared plus 3. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. Times negative 1 is negative 6. And then x squared equals 2x. I had like terms right there. I have negative 3x squared plus 3 equals 2x. I don't want to get 0 over here on the right, so I'm going to move my 2x over. And it's going to be negative 3x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals 0. Now I want to use bottoms up method and factor this. Okay, when I went back to factor this, it was, wasn't working, so I went back to see if I made any mistakes. And right here when I did that, that should have been a 3x. So let's take that into consideration. And now when I add like terms right here, 3x and a negative 2x, let's fix that. 3x minus 2x is just going to be plus x equals 0. Okay, sorry about that. So we fixed that error. Right now we're going to factor an x out of everything, so it's going to be negative 3x plus 1 equals 0. And we're going to have x equals 0 there, and then we'll have this one set equal to 0. So that's going to be negative 3x plus 1 equals 0. Divide both sides by negative 3 and x equals a positive one-third. Okay, now this x equals zero answer does not get the count because of our domain up here. And this one is not restricted and there's no issues with it. So our only solution, because this one doesn't get the count, is x equals one-third.